Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. I'm Muhammad Nazim with the 19th lecture on communication skills. Today I have decided that I'm going to encapsulate, I'm going to condense all the information which I have been sharing with you so far. If you, re if you could recollect, in the last two lectures, I said to you that I would be focusing on two important aspects of the presentation skills. And those were, one, the vocal aspect, and the second one, the visual aspect. In my last two lectures, I told you how to improve the quality of your voice, and at the same time, how to make a good appearance. Today, I'm going to sum up everything and tell you give you a few gui guidelines how to make a good presentation. If you could recollect, and which I keep on repeating you that I want you to keep remembering the past lectures, because every aspect of a good presentation needs to be focused on the initial setting, the research procedure, the preparation procedures which you, we, we adopt for making a good presentation, and those I would like to recollect and remind you that I focused on five attributes of good presentation. One, that your presentation should focus on grabbing the attention of the audience. That is, wh whichever way you design your presentation, it should have that very important element of attracting the attention of the audience. So, first aspect, again reminding you today, keeping in mind that when you make a presentation you need the attention of the audience and a continuous attention. Second, making a good presentation involves that your speech should be meaningful because the ultimate motive behind your making a presentation is to transmit a message and that message which could be receptive by the audience. So it has to be meaningful, second aspect. The third, it should be memorable. Not that they listen to you and forget, but they carry back with them the message so that the third part, they take action on that. You have to activate the audience to immediately start acting on your advice, on your information, on your, the knowledge, what you have shared. And the fifth aspect, of good presentation is that it, your presentation has to be a balanced presentation. Everything incorporated well into the structure, into the presentation of the, of the presentation, that it is well structured, the content is acceptable, it, the content is well received by the audience and the style of delivery is as well conducive to the, to the needs, to the likableness of the audience. So keeping these five things in mind, today I am going to tell you how to make a good presentation, how to make a good speech. So few guidelines I am going to focus one by one and these are the extracts. This is the extraction, the condensation which I have taken from the last few lectures which I have given you couple of, I would say, the three or four lectures which I made especially on this very aspect. Starting the very basic premise. One, that when you go to the audience, when you reach out to the audience, keep them in your mind. Don't get yourself enveloped. Don't get yourself completely absorbed in your own message. Don't think that I have come here only to pour out what is there in my mind, whatever you had written, but your speech, your presentation needs to be audience-centered. Do you remember that? I said you in a very beginning, your approach has to be tailored to the need of the audience. That's why I kept on focusing, I kept on emphasizing on the audience analysis. When you keep your audience in mind, then the first thing that comes is that you have, during your presentation, you have to keep your audience alive, alert, 
active. If they are active, they will be active listeners. And once they are active listeners, they will absorb your message. And that is exactly what you want. So, while making presentation, you should focus. And that's why, you know, when I was talking about the vocal aspect, I told you lots of things. How to engage your audience. How to keep a constant contact. So, first thing, remember, keep your audience in mind. So that they could go with you and you could carry them throughout your presentation. You, you'll be able to persuade them, convince them. And that is ultimately what I said to you is the return on investment, right? So therefore, first thing, keep your audience in mind. Now, second very important aspect of a good presentation is that you have to be well prepared much ahead of time with, this, with the, uh, the structure, the format, and even preparation to the extent that you know the situation where you are going to speak. When I'm talking about the preparation, I mean that you know the content of your presentation. And I, I do not mean that you memorize it. If you remember, in the modes of delivery, I told you the four different ways of making a good delivery. And there I emphasized that extemporaneous is the best. Reading from the text is difficult. Reading from the manuscript. Recollect the present presentation by a young lady, she had no impressions on her face. And likewise, the memorized speech. That is when you start recollecting what you have written on the paper and then you lose contact. You are completely absorbed in what you have written and you exactly cannot capture the feelings of your audience. So I would again emphasize that Please, do not try to memorize your speech. You can memorize in, in a way that you remember salient points, salient features of your speech. But then, use your own vocabulary. Try to speak out extemporaneously. And that's what gives the natural flavor to your presentation. So, do this rehearsal again and again. There's no shortcut of rehearsal. I mean, it's not possible that you prepare a speech and be confident that you will be able to make a good presentation. You will have to go in front of the mirror. You, you might have to ask a couple of your friends to, to listen to your speech and get their evaluation. See whether, whether the message comes across to the audience. It is important. Your friends would be the best guide for you. Or videotaped and watch yourself see your non-verbal cues your, see whether you're making good good verbal facial uh, expressions see when I'm talking about I said the verbal I said not the uttering but the the uh, uh, the things which you couple with your verbal delivery what is the effect of your verbal delivery so these things need extensive preparation I would advise you again I would emphasize there's no shortcut practice rehearsal again and again then in my last lecture I focused a lot on the dress part on your outward appearance today when I say that dress up appropriately for the occasion I mean that you have to see what is the occasion is it formal informal or whether you need to be dressed up very professionally or casually because your dress your attire the accessories you're wearing your grooming is going to enhance your presentation skills first impression people get from you is how do you appear in front of them and that's why I kept on saying, get yourself appropriately dressed. Your attire should be professional if it's a professional gathering. Now, when I am emphasizing on the dress part, I believe that you would 
have sufficient knowledge much in advance what is the type of the audience what is the occasion and accordingly you dress up and don't overdo neither underdress yourself and don't if the ladies are involved in making presentation don't wear excessive jewelry and likewise for men too don't have very flashy uh, watches or, or or the ties with very bright colors that gives an impression that you're not professional so your confidence your competence your credibility would depend how professionally you are dressed up do you remember I quote you a couple of examples of my students that I told um, I told my students to start dressing up they want themselves to be seen in their in the ultimate professional career and one of them experienced that and he was well received by people when he started interacting exactly the same way the audience wants to see you properly dressed elegantly professionally dressed so keep a lot of attention to how you appear in front of the audience now the next point is that whether are you going to use a podium or not and that's a choice you have to make when you make a presentation if you're using a podium then see to it that what is the height of the podium you don't want to be hiding be behind the podium if the people don't see you that will act as a barrier do go well in advance and see if the podium is adjustable or not or otherwise make some arrangements that the people could see you clearly they want to see your facial expressions they want to see your gestures and that they can only do if you are using the podium and you are standing behind the podium you should have a contact with them and also you have to see that the podium does not obstruct the view it should be well placed at an appropriate place so that you could have a good span you could make an eye contact with virtually everybody who has come to listen to you so placement of the podium is important and mind it when you are asking for a podium also have a good view of the space around because you are going to move I'm going to tell you in in a in couple of minutes that movement is essential because you'll be leaving the podium so you need sufficient space what I told you in my last lecture speakers platform where from he's going to project himself or herself so it is important that wherever you place your podium you have got sufficient space your the platform where you will be uh, moving yourself has to be well making a good contact with the audience next it is important for you that you check out the room see the environment around in, in that room look at the placement of the audience what are the seating arrangements do try to find out the internal temperature do consider the safety and security of the audience it is important for you because ultimately it is going to affect your presentation I told you in one of my previous lectures that if there's a big window in the hall and there's a traffic traffic passing people moving out that is going to detract distract the audience so it is important to see the situation in that in, in that condition you might have asked the people to put a curtain so that you could completely absorb the attention of the audience and it is your responsibility to see that wherever you are making a speech wherever you are making a presentation people who have come to listen to you feel comfortable you may say well this is not my responsibility mujhe to invite kiya hai maine wahan jaakar 10 minute mein apni speech deliver karni hai maine aa jana hai but what if there's a lot of disturbance there's a lot of noise in the hall us hall ke sath ek aur kamra hai wahan koi mazdoor kaam kar rahe hain external noise hai it may not 
affect the audience but it's going to affect your presentation isliye important hai aap wahan jaye dekhiye ke wahan ka environment kaisa hai aur agar uske andar aap koi changes karna chahte hain do tell the organizers that this is what you want when you have started making your presentation the first thing you must do is can you tell me what establishing an eye contact maine aapko kaha tha ki eye contact ke bagair aap apne aap ko audience ke sath connect nahi kar sakte lihaza eye contact establish karne se pehle to gain confidence aur ye main jab stage fright ki baat karunga to wahan bhi main is cheez ko repeat karunga ki initially when you come and occupy the position behind the podium the first thing you could do is scan the whole audience sitting in front of you a sweeping glance then right to left front to the back and a sweeping glance ke sath apne sare audience ko dekhe usse aapko ek friendly relationship aapka you will you will certainly find some friendly faces that will give you confidence वंस यू हैव डन दैट फिर उसके बाद आप यू विल हैव कपल ऑफ सेकेंड्स आई कॉन्टैक्ट विद पीपल सिटिंग इन द फ्रंट रो एंड देन यू स्टार्ट मूविंग बैक मैंने आपको पिछले लेक्चर में कहा था इससे आपका स्टेज फ्राइट खत्म होगा अगर आपका आई कॉन्टैक्ट नहीं है और आप स्पीच डिलीवर करते वक्त कहीं और देख रहे हैं तो उससे मैसेज की डिलीवरी में फर्क पड़ेगा और एक बैरियर आ जाएगा जब आप आई कांटेक्ट एस्टेब्लिश कर रहे हैं यू मस्ट अवॉइड लॉकिंग योर आई कांटेक्ट विद इंडिविजुअल्स आप यू डोंट टू गेज एट पीपल इट्स ओनली टू टू थ्री सेकेंड्स एंड स्वीपिंग बिकॉज आई कॉन्टैक्ट की खूबसूरती यह है कि आपने अगर किसी के ऊपर अपनी गेज फिक्स करेंगे तो इट इज गोइंग टू डिस्टेबिलाईज यू एज वेल बिकॉज इफ द इंप्रेशन ऑफ दैट पर्सन मे ऑल्टर यू मे लूज योर कॉन्फिडेंस सो इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल दैट नो मैटर दे माइट बी फ्रेंड सिटिंग यू जस्ट टू थ्री सेकेंड ऑफ आई कॉन्टैक्ट एंड देन मूव डोंट लॉक योर आईज on individual because that is going to hamper the delivery style next slide tells you about maintaining a conversational style a speech is an extended conversation it is not thrusting upon a message or vomiting out everything which is there in your mind no it's a very pleasant exercise when you make a presentation you are conversing with people the way you talk has to be talking with the people not talking at them aap unko order nahi kar rahe aap unke sath communicate kar rahe hain so mind it you communicate with people so while you are making your presentation apna style bahut friendly rakhe conversational rakhe aur ye kab aayega जब आप एक्सट्रेम पोर स्पीच कर रहे हैं आप अगर मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट से पढ़ रहे हैं तो नहीं आएगा आप मेमोराइज स्पीच कर रहे हैं नहीं आएगा इसीलिए आप स्पीच करते वक्त बड़ा कैजुअली रिलैक्स्ड एनवायरनमेंट में वॉट एवर इंफॉर्मेशन यू हैव जस्ट शेयर इट विद योर ऑडियंस और बड़े कैजुअल तरीके से फ्रेंडली एनवायरमेंट में कैरी दी ऑडियंस विद यू लिहाजा इसके लिए आपको थोड़ी सी प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ेगी कि जब भी आप स्टेज पे आए पोडियम के पीछे अपनी पोजीशन लें तो कीप वन थिंग इन माइंड दैट आई एम ओनली हेयर टू कन्वर्स विद माय ऑडियंस ठीक है इसके लिए थोड़ी सी प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ेगी क्योंकि मुझे पता है कि जब मैं स्टेज फाइट की बात करूंगा तो अक्सर लोगों के आके यहां यू नो टांगे कांपनी शुरू हो जाती है दिस आई डोट नो हाउ एम आई गोइंग टू परफॉर्म ये एंग्जाइटी 
स्पीच एंगजाइटी दैट्स वॉट इट ऑब्स्ट्रैक्ट सो अगर आपने जहन में इस बात को लेकर आगे चलना है कि आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू कम्युनिकेट एज एन ऑर्डनरी कन्वर्सेशन स्टाइल ग्रेजुअली यू विल पिक अप मोमेंटम यू विल गेन कॉन्फिडेंस एंड यू विल बी अ सक्सेसफुल स्पीकर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट मेंटेन appropriate facial expressions while speaking what are expressions facial expressions do you remember last speech maine kya kaha tha the your facial expressions give the inner feelings it expresses the attitude of the speaker agar mera attitude towards dealing with the subject with the audience is friendly then my face will reflect that or otherwise if i am nervous if i am uncomfortable if i am uneasy i am not in a real jovial friendly mood to give presentation i say just come on quickly i pass the time and leave the, the space leave the place that's why it is important the speech delivery ke waqt aap facial expressions ko बड़े काम रखें और ये कब ये सिचुएशन कब आती है वेन यू आर रिलैक्स्ड वेन यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर वेन यू नो द ऑडियंस इसीलिए मैंने बार बार शुरू में आपको इस बात पे ज्यादा आपकी अटेंशन डाइवर्ट की कि रिसर्च रिसर्चिंग द मटेरियल गेनिंग कॉन्फिडेंस इन नोइंग द सब्सटेंस मैसेज क्या है ऑडियंस कैसी है देन ओनली यू कैन मेंटेन a good facial expression and you can control yourself because you are completely in command of yourself aur ye command tabhi aati hai when you know exactly that you are the master of the situation here aapko audience ka bhi pata hai aapko substance pata hai you know the message you can control your feelings you can control your emotions so facial expressions is sab kuch batayenge what i said to you earlier credibility competence of the speaker use natural gestures agar main apne gestures na istemal karu aur stationary but ban kar aapke samne speech deliver karu to aapko truthfulness ka pata nahi chalega gestures are the are the modes of express my feelings jahan facial expressions mere मेरी फीलिंग्स देते हैं वहां जेन जेस्टर्स बताते हैं कि ट्रूथफुलनेस कितनी है रिमेंबर एज आई सेड कपल ऑफ टाइम्स इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स कि वी समटाइम्स टेन टू बी वेरी गुड एक्टर्स हम झूठ बड़ी बड़े कमाल के साथ बड़े कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ बोल सकते हैं हाउ वुड यू असेस वेदर वॉट आई एम सेंग टू यू इज आई रियली फील इन या जो मैं कह रहा हूं वो सच है कि नहीं वो कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन आपके जेस्टर्स और आपकी वर्बल प्रेजेंटेशन से पता चल जाएगा क्योंकि ये जो जेस्टर्स हैं ये झूठ नहीं बोल सकते क्योंकि जेस्टर्स आर एन ऑटोमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन इन बिल्ट है मैं इसको ओवरडू कर सकता हूं लेकिन जब मैं जेस्टर्स को ओवरडू करूंगा आपको पता चल जाएगा अदरवाइज जेस्टर्स का हम नेचुरली ये बड़े नॉर्मल जेस्टर्स होते हैं एंड नॉन वर्बल क्यूज को आप अगर केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व करें तो यू कैन फाइंड आउट वेदर द ऑथर इज जेन्यन और नॉट वॉट एवर ही और शी इज सेंग वो जस्टिस के थ्रू ट्रूथफुली कह रहा है कि नहीं और दूसरी बात याद रहे मैंने आपको यह भी कहा था कि जस्टिस नेगेटिव इंप्रेशन भी दे सकते हैं और ये पॉजिटिव इंप्रेशन भी दे सकते हैं क्योंकि दे आर वेरी कल्चरली ओरिएंटेड कैसे जस्टर्स कहां देने हैं ये आपको खुद केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व करना पड़ेगा मेंटेन आर रिलैक्स्ड यट अरेक्ट पोस्टर पोस्टर द वे आई एम स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू राइट अगर मेरा इफ आई एम यूजिंग अ पोडियम एंड आई एम बेंट फॉरवर्ड नॉट अ गुड पोस्टर दैट विल रिफ्लेक्ट दैट आई एम नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट erect upright posture shows i'm confident i know what i'm doing 
لہذا آپ اس کے بارے میں بڑا کانشیسلی نوٹ کریں کہ آپ کا پوسچر کیسا ہے میں نے آپ کو بتایا تھا کہ پوسچر میں اکثر لوگ ایک ایلبو پوٹیم پہ رکھ کر کھڑے ہو جاتے ہیں اینڈ دین دے اسٹارٹ اسپیکنگ دیٹس ناٹ ویل ریسیوڈ دیٹ از ناٹ ایڈوائزبل پوسچر شوڈ بی اریکٹ اینڈ کانفیڈنٹلی آپ اپنی اسپیچ کو ڈلیور کریں سو پوسچر کے اوپر بھی خاص طور پر دھیان دیجیے ایوائڈ امونوٹون میں نے ووکل ایکسپریشنس میں خاص طور پہ کہا تھا کہ آپ اپنی اپنا میسج جو کمیونیکیٹ کر رہے ہیں اس کا آپ سینس بدل سکتے ہیں ود ویریشن ان دا ٹون ایک ہی چیز کو آپ اینگری موڈ میں بھی کہہ سکتے ہیں آپ فرینڈلی ٹون میں بھی کہہ سکتے ہیں آپ سرکاسٹک ٹون میں بھی کہہ سکتے ہیں تو اسپیکرس جو ہیں آپ کی ٹون کا بہت زیادہ خیال رکھتے ہیں لہذا آپ اپنی وائس کی پچ اور ٹون کی ویریشن کا خیال رکھیں یاد کیجیے وہ جو پریزنٹیشنز میں نے آپ کو پچھلے لیکچرز میں دکھائی ان میں دو خاص طور پر ایسی ایسی پریزنٹیشنز تھیں جس میں بچوں کی ٹونس میں ویریشن نہیں تھی ایک وہ جب کہ دی دی پریزنٹر واز ریڈنگ فرام دا پیپر مونوٹون نو ویریشن اینڈ سیکنڈلی وین اٹ واز اے میمورائز اسپیچ اس میں بھی ویریشن ٹون میں نہیں تھی لیکن ایکسٹم پور اینڈ آف دی کف اسپیچ ام پرام ٹو اسپیچز میں یو مسٹ ہیو نوٹسڈ لاٹ آف ویریشن آئندہ بھی انشاءاللہ میں آپ کو اور پریزنٹیشن میں دکھاؤں گا جس میں یہ چیزیں میں خاص طور کے اوپر آپ کے سامنے ڈیمونسٹریٹ کروں گا کیونکہ آئی ووڈ لائک دیٹ وین یو میک اے گڈ پریزنٹیشن یو پلے ود دی پچ ٹون وچ ایز فلیور ٹو دی پریزنٹیشن بی شور دیٹ یو کین بی ہرڈ بائی آل لسنرس وہ میسج جو کہ سب ممبرز جو کہ بیٹھے ہیں سننے کے لیے ان تک نہ پہنچے ڈزن سرو یور پرپز سو دیٹس وائی آپ کا والیوم اتنا اسپیچ کا ہونا چاہیے ایون اف یو آر یوزنگ سم گیجٹس سی ٹو اٹ دیٹ ایوری بڈی کڈ لسن ٹو یو کلیئرلی اف دیر از ڈسٹربنس اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو ہیمپر یور پریزنٹیشن بہت اچھا طریقہ سٹیج فرائٹ کو بھی اوور کم کرنے کا ہے کہ جیسے ہی آپ پوڈیم آکیوپائی کریں دا فرسٹ تھنگ یو کین ڈو از وین یو اوپن یور ماؤتھ اینڈ اٹر فیو ورڈس آس دی آڈینس دا ون اسپیشلی پوائنٹ آؤٹ ٹو دا ون سٹنگ ان دا لاسٹ بینچز ویدر دا پرسن کین ہیئر یو کلیئرلی اور ناٹ اس سے آپ کو بھی تھوڑا سا کانفیڈنس ہوگا اینڈ سیکنڈلی پیپل ول realize that you are not nervous to aap apni presentation ka volume adjust karne ke liye it is essential that you establish aapne apni pitch aur volume ko kahan rakhna hai iske liye volume ke upar emphasis zarur rakhe otherwise if you are absorbed in your own speech and you don't bother whether people are listening or not that's not going to leave an impact or affect the audience try stepping away from the podium when i say stepping away from the podium i mean that aapki speech ke duran mobility honi chahiye movement zarur paida kare apni speech mein ek jagah stationary locked at one place not leaving the podium will create monotony after a couple of minutes or you are the best judge when to leave the podium and try to shorten the distance between you and the audience aap speech ke dauran jitna audience ke kareeb jayenge jitni aapki i don't mean a lot of mobility very gradual mobility ek harmoniously kaise aap synchronize karte hain apni movement 
with your delivery that will add beauty to your presentation and also the audience will like because there's a little bit of what I call is the projection the way you project yourself is me Tori see beauty hair in your movement the art of delivery up just as be the mal car in a body movement be you are carrying yourself you're covering a little space you are going close to some people all that's a sense in cheese of employee KG other a podium to be sharing it you do not leave your platform it will not have that impact you can otherwise leaving and little bit of covering the space around you so try this trick as well be sure you stay within the time limit but buddy karabi aksar a chase because me took a podium a cassie cheese hair okay when once you get used to it because it's holding a building at the or especially job audience both receptive ho or who enjoy career you up key speech to and you happen to be a good speaker or up key pass material be both the other or other than the game about come of a came in thing to look over do car jati but they don't realize that even when the audience is enjoying there are people sitting who are time born people who have a very strong notion about punctuality the working a year are they can take a year at a deal can take his speech car again or other was a speech came out quick to three activities hey so that is going to really leave a bad impression time factor ka bahut khayal rakhe during the delivery total delivery time and also coming on time main rather aapko advise karunga ki aap shuru shuru mein agar aapko maharat nahi experience nahi hai aapne wohi speech ki delivery jo aapne karni hai aapne pehle kahi aur nahi ki us subject pe and you're not sure whether what sort of an audience is going to be there come a little before time intermingle with the people baat cheet kare unse fayda kya hoga you will certainly develop rapo kuch log aap friendly ho jayenge stage fright bhi aapki yahan se thodi si khatm ho jayegi aur you will make up your mind aur jaise maine aapko pehle kaha tha ki speech presentation is a continuous process of research and adjustment ho sakta hai wahan aap audience se intermingle karke thodi si speech ko phir uske andar variation paida kar it is important sometimes coming ahead of time and knowing your audience so better hai time se kuch der pehle aa jaye aur phir agar aadhe ghante ki delivery hai aadhe ghante kare time factor ko zarur zehen mein rakhe get as many knowledgeable evaluations as you can kya matlab iska speech delivery ke baad if possible get a written feedback agar questionnaire koi aapne taiyar kiya hai apni evaluation audience se zarur karaye kyunki that's going to help you aur evaluation mein aapko pata chal jayega ki aapki audience assessment mein kahan flaw reh gaya aapki आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन में कहां फ्लॉस थे आपने कहा नॉन वर्बल या वोकल या आपकी वर्बल में कहां कहां गलत है इफ दी ऑडियंस कुड गिव यू अ फीडबैक इट बी गुड फॉर योर फ्यूचर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंटेशन से पहले अगर आप अपनी रिहर्सल के दौरान अवेल्युएशन करा लेंगे इट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अलॉट सो डू फोकस ऑन अवेल्युएशन एंड बी ओपन माइंडेड अगर कुछ लोग आपको क्रिटिसाइज करें इट्स गुड लिसन टू दैम दैट्स वेयर यू यूर गोइंग टू इंप्रूव एवरीथिंग इज गुड ई गुड ई माइंड इट दैट दे आर नॉट गिविंग यू द करेक्ट असेसमेंट नाउ इफ सम आस यू अ क्वेश्चन फिक्स मोस्ट ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स ऑन दैट पर्सन कंक्लूजन के अंदर लास्ट एक बहुत जरूरी एलिमेंट अच्छी प्रेजेंटेशन का जैसे मैंने आपको कंक्लूजन पार्ट में बताया था कि क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन जरूर होना चाहिए 
Some speakers do permit during the presentation, but that's an interruption. Leaving at the end is very good. And when you encounter people asking you questions, it is always advisable that when a particular question is asked from one person and you start replying, then you concentrate on that person, focus on that person while answering. But otherwise, aap usko thoda sa focus karte, importance dete hue, then you can generally involve the other audience too. Usse fayda ye hoga ke you will get a feedback ke ha ye jo aapne jawab diya hai receptive to the other people or not. Sometimes you encounter very hostile audience. Unme kuch aise individuals hote hain who are there only to cross examine you cross question you they would anyway not be persuaded in that situation if you find that you have given a plausible reasonable answer and yet he or she is not happy but you find amongst the audience other people who agree with you then you can very intelligently very skillfully shift to another point and answering some other question so summing up what i have said to you today that I really wanted to encapsulate all the various elements which I thought would be essential for making a good presentation. Ye sari chizhe zehen me rakhe aur ab yaha se hum aage further move karenge to see how you can overcome the stage fright. Aayye phir ab hum jaldi se zara overview karen ke with all these skills which we have learned so far how can we overcome the stage fright? Dekhi, speech fright or stage fright bohat hota hai. Aur ye kab overcome kiya ja sakta hai? Slide pe dekhi. Pehla, ke hume subject ke pata hai. Bohat baar mein aapko keh chuka hoon. Master the subject. Know what you want to say. Know your message. Rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. No shortcut. Jitni zyada rehearsal ka sakein, that will give you confidence. Environmental situation dekhi. Kaha speech karni hai. Aap ka stage kya hai. Kaha space kitni hai. Projection kaha se karni hai aapne. Audience analysis aap kijiye. Request for a podium, request for a lectern that is important. Initially agar aap you are not well confident, aapko experience nahi hai, request for a podium. It will help you overcome the stage fright. Yaad hai mene aapko kaha tha ki aate wakat agar aap podium pe haat rakh ke thodi deer se if you could have a good control on yourself automatically you will gain confidence. Agar koi aap equipment istamal kar rahe hain to equipment ko bhi check ki chiye. Then imagine karein ki aap ek successful presenter ke taur par aaj logon ke saamne appear. This will give you a lot of moral courage. I am going to be a successful speaker. Ye psychological boost aap ko chahiye. Negative feelings saath kabhi ma chahe. You may perform not very good, lekin agar if it is not a complete fiasco, very good. Magar go with positive energy. Realize that people want to listen to you. Ye impression leke jahiye. कि लोग मुझे सुनने के लिए आए हैं दे आर योर फ्रेंड्स दे डू नॉट वॉन्ट यू टू फेल अगर आप इन फीलिंग्स के साथ जाएंगे यू विल परफॉर्म बेटर कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द मैसेज कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द ऑडियंस जैसे मैं पहले कह चुका मूवमेंट मोबिलिटी एनर्जाइज करेगी आपको कॉन्फिडेंट होंगे आप एंड अप्रोच द लेक्टर्न द पोडियम With assurance and enthusiasm. अगर आप की movement में वो confidence नहीं, अगर आप सिर झुका movement में वो confidence नहीं, अगर आप सिर झुकाए हुए podium के आगे गए हैं, आप डरते डरते आगे गए हैं, तो आपने तो पहले ही अपने आप को negativity का शिकार कर दिया. No, go with a positive feeling that you are going to face a very friendly audience. You have well prepared yourself. आपको सब्सटेंस का पता है आप ऑडियंस के बारे में जानते हैं आपको अपनी 
in space, environment, you are completely in command of the situation. Go with these feelings. I am sure okay, aap, you will be able to overcome the stage fright. Last thing, very important, and that is just relax. Agar ho sake, to jis din aap ne delivery karni hai, jis din speech ki karni hai, us din subah aam se calm and quiet. Don't at the last moment be speech padhe, ratta lagaye. Don't do that. Come relaxed, ease, and see to it that you automatically will find yourself that the things are they're dawning upon you. They start coming automatically. तो रिलैक्स्ड एनवायरनमेंट में आप स्पीच कीजिए आई एम क्वाइट श्योर आप इन चंद चीजों को आप जहन में रखेंगे यू विल ओवरकम द स्टेज फ्राइट और फिर वो एक्सपीरियंस के साथ साथ आपको ये चीजें आ जाएंगी हैविंग सेड ऑल दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट हमने सब कुछ सीख लिया लेट एस सी कि स्पीचेस कितनी किस्म की होती हैं क्योंकि हमने आप डिलीवरी स्टाइल सीख लिया अब हमें यह भी कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया है कि हमने कैसी अच्छी सक्सेसफुल स्पीच देनी है कितनी किस्म की स्पीचेस होती हैं देर आर थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ स्पीचेस इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच से आप बहुत अच्छी तरह से वाकिफ हैं परसुएसिव स्पीच एंड थर्ड इज दी सेरिमोनियल स्पीच अब मैं दिस इज दी लास्ट लेग ऑफ द होल स्कीम ऑफ मेकिंग प्रेजेंटेशन आपने सब कुछ सीखने के बाद अब आपने देखना है कि आप इन तीनों स्पीच को आपने कैसे हैंडल करना है लेट्स मूव टू दर्स्ट इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच याद रहे कि मैंने इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच में आपको बताया था कि ये स्पीच वो है जहां आपने लोगों को एजुकेट करना है लेकिन एजुकेशन का मकसद वो नहीं कि आपने यहां से इंफॉर्मेशन कलेक्ट करनी है और Throw it now. Condense or un speech ko uska essence nikal ke what exactly is to be given to the people. Tailor it to the needs of the people. Lehaza, aap ne informative is speech ko tayar karne ke liye wohi format follow karna hai jo ke maine initially aapko bataya tha. Introduction, body, conclusion. मैं सिर्फ इधर इसलिए आपको बता रहा हूं कि आपने अब चूंकि डिलीवरी के बाद यू हैव टू डिसाइड कि कैसी आपने इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच देनी है तो मैंने आपको यह भी बता दिया है कि रीडिंग फ्रॉम द मैनस्क्रिप्ट अगर छे इंफॉर्मेशन इज एम्बेडेड इन इट एंड यू वांट टू गिव इट एज सच देर आर वेज दैट यू कुड मेक इट पैलेटेबल अपीलिंग प्लीजिंग ऑलरेडी आपको बता दिए सो इंफॉर्मेशन स्पीच बहुत जरूरी आज मैं आपको यह भी बताऊंगा कि जब वेन यू आर मेकिंग अ परसुएसिव स्पीच उसके अंदर भी इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच का एलिमेंट एम्बेडेड है तो लिहाजा इंफॉर्मेशन स्पीच डिलीवर करते वक्त आप ख्याल रखें कि यू हैव टू मेक इट वेरी प्लीजिंग टू द ऑडियंस एंड यू डू नॉट हैव टू कंप्लीटली रीड इट फ्रॉम द मैनस्क्रिप्ट एज वन ऑफ द प्रेजेंटर्स डिड इन इन द लास्ट प्रेजेंटेशन जो मैंने बच्चों की उसको हमने कैसे स्किलफुली हैंडल करना है वो मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी बता दिया नाउ व्हेन आई टॉक टू यू अबाउट इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीचेस देन आई वांट टेल यू दैट योर इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच कैन बी अबाउट योर ऑब्जेक्ट्स लुक एट द स्लाइड यू कैन फोकस ऑन थिंग्स यू कैन टॉक अबाउट पीपल आप कायदे आज मोहम्मद जिना पे तकरीर कर सकते हैं आप अलामा इकबाल पे कर सकते हैं आप बादशाही मॉस पे कर रहे हैं Up, you are talking about the pyramids of Egypt, and or you could be launching any of the products. So here, the information speech is about objects. Informative, informative speech about processes. Up, factory laga rahe hain, ek nee technology la rahe hain. You are discussing the manuals. You are uh, training people how to perform a process. Informative speech. Yahan delivery ke andar ap variation nahi kar sakte. यहां आप जबानी नहीं दे सकते यू आर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इवेंट्स एन अदर फॉर्म ऑफ इंफॉर्मेटिव स्पीच फोकस्ड वॉट हैपन्ड वॉट हैपन यस टूडे वॉट इज हैपनिंग टूडे हाउ इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट टूमारो इवेंट्स है यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द लास्ट मैच 
between two countries we had in Lahore, ek event hai. Some other important event which happened a couple of years ago. So those events, chronological order, just yaad hai aapko bataya tha. Then, very important, very crucial, very difficult. Talking about concepts, this is where the most difficult part comes. Concepts mein, yaha be careful. While you are talking about concepts, you could shift from being an informative speaker to persuasive speaker. Jab aap belief systems ke upar, aap information dete dete, aap logo ko persuade karne ke koshish karein, that's there, the focus. So, talking about concepts, I'm talking about family planning, I'm talking about democracy, what type of democracy you want to have, I'm talking about liberation movement, ye concepts hai, ye, ye value system hai, to yaha, yaha believes hai, yaha theories hai, to keep in mind, yaha aap ne judgmental nahi hona, yaha aap ne khali information nahi. When we talk about the persuasive speech, iske upar mein aap se bohat information share ka chuka hon. Mein aap ko purpose bhi bataya hai ke persuasive is to change people's belief, make them take action, kaun kaun si speech is mein, kaun kaun si factor is important hai. When we are talking about the persuasive speech, first thing comes is the question of fact. A question about the truth or falsity of an assertion. Mind it, agar uske andar factual thing ke andar koi contradiction nahi, to aapko persuasive speech ki zaroot koi nahi. The fact is the fact, you accept it, I accept it. Creation of Pakistan ke, uh, ke baare mein, there is no dispute. You don't have to persuade people. But what is happening today in the world? Who is responsible? Why was there a bomb blast in, at a certain place? I am going to give some facts. You may not buy those facts. You may not believe because there is a contradiction of opinion. So, persuasion ki hai. that's a question of fact. Question of values. Yahan value judgment ki baat aajegi. Or jahan value judgment ki baat aajegi, people will differ with you. Morality ki baat aayegi. Talking about genetic technology. Today is a big dispute going on in the world. Talking about the abortion. Value system ki baat aarehi hai. Kitne children, how many children we want to uh, afford in a family. Population control ki baat hai. Even in the western countries, people do not believe in family planning. It's a question of value question of policy. Hum apne mulk mein kaisa change lana chaate hain? Kaun si policy adopt karna chaate hain? We have to persuade people. Control democracy, benign democracy, autocracy, wakara wakara. Ye dunia mein ye debates chal rahi hai. Policy issues hai. People, you have to convince people and then find out what suits them. So persuasion mein ye sari chiz hai. Now, how to organize persuasive speeches? What, what you want really sharing with the people is problem and solution. First, show that there, there's a problem which exists and then present a solution. Sometimes you have to tell them what are the causes of the problem and then give solutions. You have to give them various options what are available. Explain why the solution you are proposing is preferable. This needs persuasion. So persuasive is speech can that you really have to approach very delicately, very intelligently, because you want immediate action. Aye, dekhe ke persuasion ke liye kaun se principles aapko follow karne chahiye. Knowing the people, we find that the people are more likely to change the behavior if asked for a small change rather than a large change. Agar main aaj aapko kahu ki ji aap ke liye ghost acha nahi, aap vegetarian ho jaye, perhaps you will not. लेकिन अगर मैं आपसे यह कहूं कि रोज या हफ्ते में आप दो दिन वेजिटेरियन हो जाए गोश्त ना खाएं यू विल बाय दिस मैं कहूं आपको शुगर आती है मीठा ना खाएं यू विल बाय इट और इफ यू रिजिस्ट इट मैं कहूंगा यार कम कर दो सो स्मॉल चेंज समटाइम्स पीपल एक्सेप्ट इट चेंज विल बेनिफिट देम मोर इफ इट्स गोइंग टू कॉस्ट दैम अलॉट मैं आपसे कहूं कि आप सिगरेट पी रहे हैं यू आर टेंडिंग टूवर्ड्स डेवलपिंग कैंसर एंड इट्स गोइंग टू कॉस्ट योर लाइफ 
I'm sure you will think about it. Change meets your needs. I want to install a security system in my area. And I will say that there is a lot of burglary here. Let's collectively pull together and install a new system. People will buy it. It's a question of appealing to the reason, appealing to emotions, appealing to needs. If I say to you today that you leave a cigarette, your child is very small, it is your need. Surely emotional thing, aspect will say, yes, for my child's sake, let me leave it. In the end, ceremonial speeches ki mein baat karte jata hoon aur different speeches bhi hain tributes kabhi kabhi aapne kisi ko tribute pay karna hai aap kisi achche shair ko tribute pay karna hai kisi ki anniversary hai and you are supposed to make a speech on that comes under tributes acceptance you have been awarded you have been decorated aapne acceptance speech deni hai ye bhi ek different speech hai iska format different hai اس کو بھی آپ نے پرکٹس کرنا ہوگا انسپیریشنل سپیچز ہوتی ہیں لائک آئیم ایڈرسنگ 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 ای